Hey, it's you guys. Come in, come in. Welcome to Omega's office in uh, 2021. Hey, come over, come over. You, you must be hot. You, you know, it's, it's freaking hot out there. Grab yourself a refreshment. Come on, guys. Pick something. Plenty to choose from. Oh, he's a bit of a classic, yeah? He's a bit of a classic. You like the old Coke? We'll give you the Coke. Don't worry about it. Take a sip of that. It's great stuff. Very good. Okay, let's go check out my setup. Obviously, you guys want to see what Omega has got going on here. <laughs> you guys know I don't have a, a blue chair. No, I have a red chair, so... Uh, <laughs> so, welcome to Editor's Setup. This is also a space for Ashlyn where he goes, and there's also a space for my guests when they come around and they want to have a casual game. This is also the area where the PS5 goes. Uh, you know, people can play whatever they want. Chuck that on. They can play Apex Legends, Fortnite, PUBG, you name it. It's all preloaded on there, guys. Uh, the, also, the guest editor and Ashton's desk has a the Argon AOC monitor. Now, this is one of my monitors that was taken from me very vigorously. I was very highly attacked when this was... I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I didn't have enough room on the desk so I flipped it over to this side it's fine instead of having to buy another monitor you know this desk is using the um, HyperX as my old headset they work you know fine on occasion sometimes one of the earphones don't work but that's cool um, I think we're gonna be getting a, a new headset soon for that and we're gonna be rocking with the blue theme uh, th you know there's a bit of lights going on here you know gotta get the RGB going in 2021 don't you <laughs> Well, actually, my editor was like, hey, well, you've got RGBs, so why can't I get RGBs in here? <laughs> like, oh, okay, I'll get the RGBs. Not that I'm a, I'm a massive big fan on the RGBs, but, you know. So we've got the uh, Razer Sinosa keyboard right here. Fantastic specimen. It's actually a bit of a bit on the cheaper end of Razer because, you know, I was being a bit cheap for the editor. <laughs> the Razer Mamba uh, mouse here. It's also got the RGB and flashlights going on, you know, to make it similar-ish to my setup. It, it really isn't. <laughs> If we look down here, we have the um, custom built PC for my editor Ashton and guests right here. Ashton, my editor, and I all worked really hard to find the best PC that balances editing and gaming, along with, you know, not such a big price tag, because after all this, my pockets have really been feeling it. So, an AMD build seemed to be the best build for the job. We're very lucky to land this custom rig from PB Tech for just over 2K. For the CPU, it has the Ryzen 7 3700X, which has 8 cores. We got the AMD Radeon 5700XT GPU, which of course powers the gaming, along with the 16 gigabytes of DD. R4 RAM. We got a 500 gigabyte NVMe M.2 SSD. And of course, pairing this one is a 650 watt power supply. So as well as all of that, we have the carbon fiber pattern gaming desk uh, that I had to bring in. Obviously, uh, editor needed a desk. I would have put him on the floor, but hey, he started moaning. <laughs> but this is uh, this is an extension, obviously, onto my L desk. Anyway, moving on to the main attraction right here. This is the fantastic space that you guys see when you guys are all watching my videos. <laughs> What you don't see is this seven furry heads up there that I have going on. A bit of a collection uh, happening there. You come back in a couple of years, you wait. That's it's going to be full of, of uh, seven, seven furry, furry heads up there. Don't you worry. I'm kidding, furries. Calm yourself. <laughs> it's, it's a joke. It's a joke. Uh, no, these are just random heads that um, I got from down the road at a shop, and uh, I just place them on when celestial members on the channel uh, request it. I basically just pop one of those heads on. Just quick, easy way to grab them, you know. Uh, yes, you probably noticed we have a bit of a bit of a Marvel thing going on here in the office. We do change up the theme every now and again here. That is the classic Marvel uh, calendar over there. We've got the Avengers poster here in the door. We, our last theme was Fortnite, but uh, yeah, we changed that pretty uh, pretty quickly. Anyway, here is Mr. Omega's chair. Look at it. It's actually a really old, fugly old chair, but you know, um, I, need, I really need to get some sort of replacement at some point. But no worries. I've got the, uh, the fluff going on. I need a bit of fluff for the... You know, get a bit of fluff going. It's nice having a good bit of fluff there, relaxing. And uh, in case you're wondering, yes, it can do this. But can you do this? Moving on, we have the uh, Razer Ornata keyboard. I run the Razer Ornata keyboard. It's it's a really nice keyboard. It's a mecha membrane or whatever, a membrane keyboard, whatever you call it. It's not quite a um, full mechanical keyboard. Um, it's, you know, got the soft tone mechanical sound rather than the, the really hard out ones. I didn't go for anything like the Black Widow keyboard or anything. Uh, so yeah, I, I love this keyboard. I've had it for ages. This is actually the V2 version. Uh, I upgraded from the original version. I now have the V2 version. And you know what they added? A freaking scroll wheel for the volume. 
great upgrades in 2021. Anyway, we got the uh, Razer Naga Trinity mouse here. Um, I, I have really grown up around the Razer Naga. Uh, a lot of people don't like this mouse because it's a bit of a slant on it. It's a bit of a weird mouse to hold. But um, the thing I, I really, really attracted me to this mouse uh, pretty much in the first place with the Naga Trinity was the side panels here. You can literally just, you know, flip these off and you can replace them with other panels that, that come with it. Obviously, I don't have the other panels on me right now. But, you know, you're into MMR, you know, RPGs, MMOs, whatever. Uh, you can swap panel out with different buttons. I just rock the standard two, two side buttons, you know, for all my games. I don't really need a whole lot of buttons on the side. But, yeah, I used to play uh, some MMOs and stuff where I, where I could swap it out. So, you know, that was how I started getting into the uh, Naga. Anyway, we got two 32 inch, used to have three. That was taken from me. <laughs> it was a bit of an overkill though because yeah, that's why one's over there. I got two 32 inch, uh, we got the Argon AOC monitors here. Um, they have like really cool, like um, you can change the LEDs in these, you know. There's only three colours but you got the green, the blue, the red. Obviously I got the red theme going, you know, gaming fire, I don't know. Sort of, it's, it's my favourite colour, okay. okay. It's, it, it just worked, it works. Red works for me. <laughs> um, up here we have, for the microphone that I use, we have the Blue Yeti. Uh, this is the black edition of Blue Yeti. Um, obviously. It's on a boom arm here, so that's the Rode boom arm that I got going here. Um, headset that's, uh, I usually just, you know, when I finish a game, you know, whatever, finish the video, I just flip my headphones on top of the boom arm, you get a bit lazy with that. But, you know, my editors nicely put this all around the, the boom arm. <laughs> so yeah, I, I have the Astro A40 headset. Um, you know, they're a bit overpriced headset, but they're fantastic for sound quality. And uh, especially when you're gaming and stuff, they got the real, uh, you know, Dolby surround. So I really like this headset. I need a decent headset, so I had to upgrade to the Astro A40. Really, really flexible friggin' headsets. And you know me, guys, you know, Mega, he friggin' tries to break everything. So, uh, and, and no, I didn't just break that. That just that just literally clips on. If you know um, how Astro works, then yeah, you'll know that everything pretty much comes off them. They got side plates and things like that. You can just, you know, they magnetize. Pretty cool. You can change the plates on if you want. A bit expensive to buy the next lot of plates. If you want to change the colors, so I just keep the standard. But yeah, got the um, the, the Astro headsets there. Chuck them. Um, anyway, we have the, another thing I like about Astro is they've got the mix the mix amp over here. I can literally just adjust, you know, when I'm playing a game, adjust the volume. I don't have to, you know, there's no have to do it on the on the cord or whatever. I don't have to adjust it on the PC and just fling it around like that. That's a mute button, so I just mute it like that. You know, it's red, it's muted. When it's white, it's unmuted. When you're talking to people, obviously I use the Blue Yeti to talk to people. Don't need to use, you know, the side piece uh, mic, so I don't use that. Use the Blue Yeti. But yeah, if, you, if you're into it, you know, you can just flick it on and off of the mute. And obviously on this side of the mix amp, you have like, uh, you can adjust it to hear the voice better, or you can adjust it that side of here, the game better. So it's also got adjustable controls down here, blah, 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 blah. probably other things you don't want to really, really give a shite about. <laughs> anyway, um, I have the PS4 here on my desk, as you guys have probably seen in some of the videos. Uh, I, I do play the PS4 on this monitor here. Uh, you know, I'll just casually grab the controller wherever, I don't even know where the frick the controller is. Alright, here we are. For myself, I really wanted something that would fully future-proof what I do here on YouTube and for the business that I'm launching soon this year. I needed it to basically run everything from editing to gaming to animation. This is the beast of a rig that my cameraman, editor, and apparently all of you have been waiting for. So here it is. I introduce to you the custom-made rig that I really couldn't afford. <laughs> I have the Ryzen 9 3950X CPU, the MSI B550M Wi-Fi motherboard, I got G-Skills Trident Z RGB packing a whopping 32 gigs of RAM, like why the heck did I get that much RAM again? I, I can't even remember. The Corsair Hydra RGB CPU cooler, 1 terabyte MVME M.2 SSD because I still way too many games on Steam. For the GPU, I have the Zotac 8 gigs RTX 3070 overclocked. And of course, to power the beast, we have a 750 watt gold module power supply. Whew. Even reading through these specs, it, it reminds me of the cash just outing itself from my bank account. So obviously you guys see this like all the time in the videos, but um, you probably haven't heard a lot about what's going on on the shelf. Uh, we'll start over here. Uh, PS5 boxes, they're just there to fill a space, so <laughs> don't worry too much about that. We're going to figure out what we're going to put there after. This is the old uh, Nintendo 64 of mine that sits in there. This is kind of like a, a retro area. We're still trying to play around with a lot of this stuff, figuring out, you know, what we want to do here. Um, me and the editor, you know, because he wants to have shelves to put his stuff as well. So at the moment, I've got my the old N64 here. Brilliant console. I want to get back into um, play on the N64. It's just I, I need a converter, you know, plug in for the monitors to be able to run the 64. Same here is one of my old um, PlayStation 1s. 
Um, this is going going back quite a few years. It was that was actually one of the very first consoles I got was that uh, PlayStation One right now. Coming 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 over here, uh, we have the main shelf that you guys see. Um, it has been changed around a bit over the time that you guys have seen it. Uh, obviously, we've got a bit of a DBZ area going on right here. We've got a couple of figurines, you know, go tanks and stuff is pretty cool. Uh, as you can probably tell, a bit of a DBZ fan. I, I grew up around Dragon Ball Z, so uh, yeah, had to make a, a special special space there for Dragon Ball Z. Obviously, uh, merch. Obviously hats on top. Got the Minecraft sword. <laughs> Fortnite loot llama uh, over there. It's rocking the Omega. The, the traditional Omega glasses. Uh, up here, you probably remember the eagle. That was from the, uh, that was a special thing that I did uh, when uh, Grandpa was in hospital. So uh, this was um, actually handed to him. Uh, this was like the main figure of uh, the video in uh, that. It was called the eagle. You guys, you guys remember that. Look under through here, you know, we got the we got the little G Fuel section here. Uh, these guys are really cool. These are the little Among Us characters here that uh, were actually handmade, probably had a clay for me uh, by somebody, so they're really, really incredible. I've just got them hanging up around the uh, dagger here. You guys remember that dagger from Endgame? Uh, that was Ashton's dagger that he welded, uh, a part of that storyline. That's his dagger that dangles there along with the necklaces that we wore. That was really cool, that's, you know, for memory's time's sake. Uh, we've got the Batman, the Spyro. The Spyro is something I had when I was a child. Uh, another game that I played quite vigorously was Spyro. Love that game to death. Um, so yeah, obviously Spyro figurine. Had to, had to have a place on the shelf. Uh, under here you'll see I've got the, uh, uh, hardly accessible, but uh, PlayStation 4 and 5 games. But uh, I have got to move things around. I've just had a bit of a change around to make things, uh, you know, look more interesting. I'm going to change things around every now and again so you guys aren't seeing the same old backdrop all the time. Uh, my favourite figurine is probably what you want to know on the shelf is actually um, uh, the alien figurine. Uh, the reason why this is a, a personal sort of favourite of mine is where the workshops in New Zealand actually created this. This isn't made in China or overseas or America or anywhere like that. This is actually made right here at home in New Zealand. Uh, Weta Workshops <coughs> makes these figurines and uh, Weta Workshops are the same people that animated Spider-Man, uh, they animated Lord of the Rings, you know, all that kind of thing. So Weta Workshop sort of make these special figurines that you can buy and so that's why I really like that one. Made right here at home. So he's got a little, obviously got some uh, starry glasses. Uh, we've got the, the old Xbox 360 used to play that all the time. PlayStation 2. Another one of my the old PlayStation 1's down here. Unwrapped gamepad that was, I brought it out ages ago and never friggin opened it. Uh, that kind of goes there. Bit of a DS fan. I, you know, you can see from my overnight challenges, I, I play the DS um, quite a bit when I'm staying on an overnight challenge or when I'm generally just getting to bed and, you know, want to play a game. Uh, you know, gaming all the time here, Mr. Omega. <laughs> JRPGs like Dragon Quest, Chrono Trigger, you know, Golden Sun, all of those uh, older games, awesome, amazing. Remakes and stuff, I play them on the Nintendo DS. Baby Yoda, Duff, you know, Fortnite Omega, obviously, got Omega, has got his own place there, being Omega. The only other thing I'll show you here is the St. Bathans fridge magnet. Goes there, uh, that is basically, you guys remember the Vulcan Hotel? Uh, that was a place I stayed overnight, it's quite a special place. It's actually shut down now, which is really sad, so that's my, uh, my kind of token of, you know, my remembrance that I Stayed at the Vulcan Hotel with the in the room one with Rose the ghost. So yeah, it kind of just sits in there. Obviously not visible. Lastly, it's just uh, that thing up there, which my editor made. What the frick is that? And then here's all my like old Xbox 360 games. The old 360 games in here, and then you got the PlayStation 2 games. Bit of a Tekken fan, you know, Evil Within. I remember that game. I never actually played the second one of that, which is interesting. So yeah, that's just where I stash all those kind of stuff. If you ever want to play like the PlayStation 2 or anything anymore, uh, you know, I, I just come over here when I when I go to pull it out and uh, obviously it's a bit jammed in here when I open this up. Obviously I can, um, you know, I can grab one of these games and plug it in, switch it on, off I go and obviously old PS1 as well. There's the old original Final Fantasy. Look at that. Final Fantasy 7. It's great. It's classic this. Uh, as long as it does sound too scratch, that's probably going to be worth quite a bit. And lastly, 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 and I know this is, I'm just, you know, quite passionate about a lot of the things I have and collect. Del Toro Quest. Uh, this was the book series that I read as a child. Um, I have the whole collection of it. Probably a lot of you Kiwi kids may really, or even Australian and that, may really know Del Toro Quest. This is in a lot of school kind of libraries and public libraries. Uh, it is sort of in, in the more of a child section, you know, of reads, but I'm um, really, really fond of this series. That, uh, you know, I kind of grew up around it. Got the whole collection. That always has a place down there on the shelf. I even got my old bookmark there. Look at that. Uh, obviously, I read other books and stuff, but that, that was one of the main books that really stood out for me, you know, when I was 
growing up and stuff. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this little room tour of a room where Omega wastes all his entire funds and uh, life savings in. Uh, yeah, it's been great guys. Thank you very much. Uh, I will personally open the door for you guys and let you guys out while I um, get ready for doing another video for you guys. As always, always always thinking of you know video ideas and, and whatnot. We'll see you next time everybody. Bye bye. Thank you.